Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blingin', carols singin', favorite season Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's vlog of day 16 Well I say it's so windy and cold outside the last two days have been hot it's, It wasn't even this cold or windy We just had a bad storm, well it wasn't too bad but Well it must have been bad enough to have a tornado warning issue For us to take shelter early today but it brought this cold weather through. Like, this is like. <sighs> I'm trying to catch my breath because I have to run in the car. This is like pneumonia weather. Like, come on now. Like, that's, that's why many people get sick over and over again because one day it'd be hot and it'd be cold, but hot don't want to stay one temperature. So, and then my crazy self, because it was hot this morning when I dropped the kids off of school, my crazy self took a bath and now I'm out here in this cold air but i put some um leggings under my dress so and i got this big old jacket on so i should be straight um right now i'm sitting here waiting on my son he got class or whatever a diversion class that's gonna be a whole nother story time of why he's taking the class um basically the more, the, to sum up the story he was fighting another student and um for defending himself, you know, um, you know how kids is they will talk about your shoes or talk about whatever you got on, whatever, or whatever the case may be. And he was just the boy said stuff to him, and he said stuff back. And yes, the boy couldn't take it because everybody was laughing at what my son said to him. And as you know, he slapped my son in the face, and my son fought back. And so both of them got arrested at the school. And I was like, why would you arrest my son? He was defending himself, and he already made a statement. He was on recorder and all that. So. I had to go through this whole program with um, with him being on a school probation. Um, it's not gonna be on his record, so, but if he get in trouble like in high school, stuff like that, maybe, but right now by him being in middle school, it's not gonna be on his record. It's like a, get him like a diversion class to get them like a second chance or get him like a chance of like by teaching them how to handle their anger and stuff like that lifestyle you know things to do in this world you know some kids don't understand you know how to deal with their anger and stuff like that so that's basically what is going on at the moment but if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe to your girl this is your girl Fifi smash that like button comment down below and tell me your opinions but I, I wish he he shouldn't have to go through this but you know his school has a no top no violence tolerance tolerance or what's it called zero tolerance when it comes to fighting no matter who started both of them get in trouble both of them get arrested you know they have to deal with this so basically the school wants your child to if somebody hit them they're supposed to tell and you know how the snitch game is you know kids but you snitching you start you you know that that's going on too um say so slap you you're supposed to sit there and do nothing and tell somebody and they will get suspended and nothing will happen to you um that's how it works they don't want nobody putting their hands on nobody which is sad that it had to go to this point but it's sad that the person that's getting hit on can't defend themselves without being picked on a school by not doing anything so so my son's trying his best to stay out of trouble and um and i told him what to do in the situation and he needs to speak to somebody if he's still having more issues but right now he's been doing good so far no more issues i guess because a lot of people getting arrested at that school left and right and it is and it's very very sad mostly you know african americans <laughs> it's full in that class and i ain't seen not one white caucasian person or any other races in there in that class but that, that should let you know something but i'm not trying to pull the race car so don't go there with me but yeah let's go ahead and go to the store real quick and then we can go pick him up to see how his class went today so let's get it three hours later so how was your class Great. What did y'all do up in there? We talked about paying attention in class and stuff and being good, acting good and stuff. And he would talk about we live there and stuff. Oh, don't even say it on here. Why he was asking we live in? No, he, 
Not me. He talking about he telling us we did that and then what problems he went through. Oh, okay. And so then, he's like a mentor. Really. Yeah. Of our life. So what else y'all did? We talk about paying attention class doing right inside school. And they'd never be bad again and so. stuff. Mm-hmm. And come to find out that little boy that was well, did I put that boy in my... No, I ain't put him in my vlog. Yes, you did. I did? Yeah, he was scared he pushed me. Oh, okay. Yes, I did. Hold on, let me drive. That little... Okay, in my skating ring vlog, it's a little boy doing a race. Aiden was racing, but a little boy pushed him and into the wall, so it caused him to lose the race. He's up there, too. I, I knew that boy was... Uh, Troublemaker. A troublemaker. But, uh, cause like, he, he was throwing mist at the uh, skating ring with the other girls, you know, saying about the racial spurs and stuff. That's cause I was like, I know my son on top like that. Now I put two and two together. He was, he up there too in his career. So what in the world? But yeah. I'm so hungry, y'all. We gotta repeat this process. Uh, we'll let... To Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I got four days on mm -hmm. We're about to head to the But we at Walmart. You know that machine, blood pressure machine? They be having them Walmart and Sam's. Tomorrow I sat in that blood pressure machine and I took it twice and both of them still said that I have high blood pressure. I be having dizzy spells and um, feeling sleepy and stuff and leg pain and all that. And I was like, it's something ain't right. So I make sure I calm down. I took it. The second when I took it sec the second time, and it still said I had high blood pressure. So I definitely gonna get some check out. <laughs> I don't know, or well, it could be accurate. But if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to your girl. Smash the like button, comment down below, and tell me. Just comment down below. The next morning. Hey y'all, this is Vlogmas, Vlogmas Day 17. This is how I'm spending my. Vlogmas day 17. Um, right now I'm having issues with being dizziness, but I will talk to y'all more about that as soon as I get my results. Um, my blood pressure was like 146 over 90 something. I don't know, but it's a little elevated. It's high at the moment. Um, I gave me some aspirins and um. I'm trying to think. I went to the quick here and they told me to go to the emergency room. They did an EKG on me so far. But um, I'm going to see what they're going to do because I shouldn't be having these dizzy spells for almost about a month, four weeks straight. And something going on. I have like a, a, a low fever. So we're going to figure out what's going on. I'll be right back. Hey, y'all. I am back. Um, as you can see, I'm in the car now. When I first went to the doctor, they did my blood test, and, not my blood test, they did my uh, blood pressure and stuff, and did me, they did an EKG on me, right? It was abnormal to them, and they said my blood pressure at the time was like 132 over 92. So they said, well, you need to go to the emergency room. I was like, y'all can't do no tests to see what's going on. So they had the, hold on. They didn't have the proper equipment. My hair looking crazy. But they had. They didn't have the proper equipment, so that's why I had to go to the emergency room. So I went to the emergency room, and they, when they did my uh, blood pressure, it went up to 145 over 90 something. So I didn't get a chance to sit in the room. They had hurry up and put me to the back to run some more EKG tests on me. And um, 
x-rays and all that because you know I was I'll be dizzy most of the time special standing up and stuff like that so I'm I already know what I need to do I need to change my eating habits and stuff hold on y'all okay and so my blood work came back my EKG at the emergency room was okay it was like non-emergent or whatever but they gave um doing before they did all that they gave me like about four pills or something my mind so gone right now them pills were for my diz for my dizziness um pain medicine and they gave me a shot in the butt because you know not for the fever and stuff like that or whatever's going on but um i had to follow up with dr appointment on the 27th so that's what I gotta deal with, but after all that medication they gave me, my blood pressure went down to the normal rate. But you know, I'm gonna see my primary primary doctor um, on the 27th, and they gonna run some more tests, stuff like that. So hopefully everything still be fine. I'm tired right now. I'm not even supposed to be driving. I have to give me something quick to eat, even though I'm not supposed to be eating this. But I gotta make some lifestyle changes. I gotta eat right. I gotta do away the pops. I gotta do away the candy. I gotta start eating right. This is my. I'm gonna start doing some meal prepping, like just like chicken breasts and stuff like that. And I love asparagus and Brussels sprouts. So I'm gonna do stuff like that for me, and then I'm gonna cook my family separate meals because I know they're not gonna eat that. But I gotta do some lifestyle changes, exercise, and it's probably the reason why my blood pressure goes. And you know, cause I don't do no exercise. All I do is sit down, I don't do nothing. Sit down, clean up, that's it. And attend to my kids. But as you can tell, I'm tired cause they gave me some medication that got me drives and I ain't supposed to be driving. But you know me, I can drive and go home. But as soon as I get home, I'm gonna take a nap. But this is what my day consists of, but you know, just oh, keep me in prayer so, and I gotta make this change if not my situation could get worse you know cause you know I got family history of diabetes and stuff like that and cancer but cause I was afraid cause when they took my blood I thought they were gonna say I was diabetic or something but oh, you never know I say not the woods yet cause you know I'm overweight or whatever I feel better. I'm just drowsy. I'm tired. Um, even though I ain't haven't ate anything at all. Uh, um, I'm about to eat me a little bit or something. I gotta put something on my stomach or because the medicine I took might make me feel even worse. So I'm gonna eat and um, I'm gonna end this vlog with where it's at. So if you're new to my channel, go ahead welcome and subscribe thumbs up the video comment down below and free free to share and you know until next time i'll see you in the next day peace <laughs>